guys welcome back to my channel and today is Wednesday January the 30th and y'all know whenever it gets to the end of the month that all Glenda Merle thinks about is living on Social Security um I think I need to change my series name to um real life on social insecurity because that's really what it is um you know we who depend on Social Security only for our uh, income we're very insecure, and we're insecure in that we don't have enough money for food. Um, most of us who live in cold climates like I do can't afford uh, heating fuel. I mean, fortunately, you know, I do pay a lot of money for rent. It's uh, five ninety a month, and that does include my heat and my electricity and the gas for my cooking and my water and sewer. But um, there are a lot of you who, you know, reach retirement age, and even though you might have the mortgage paid off on your home, you still have to pay for the fuel to heat your home. I know Dorothy, um, when she lived out there in, in that house on the Hargrove Hill, and, you know, after we left and, and Daddy died and she was left alone there, she always struggled uh, having to fill up a propane tank. And I remember her telling me how much it was a gallon and how much it was going to cost and everything. So even back then, you know, in, in the in the eighties, she she struggled with trying to have enough money to pay for her propane. So you know, you have to sit down and figure, y'all. Now, you know, um, now that you're young and, and you have time to save and prepare for your retirement. You got to figure in, you know, even if you pay the mortgage on your home and you own your home, you still got to pay the taxes on it. I mean, there are a lot of old homes here in Asbury Park that are on the market for sale. And it's because the owners can't afford the taxes. Taxes here in New Jersey are outrageous. So, um, you know, if you live in a, in a state like Mississippi and maybe you have a homestead um what is it called? Homestead deduction or reduction or something. Um, maybe you don't have to pay that much in taxes, but um, you just never know. So you need to, you know, save and prepare because, like I said, a lot of you are trying to get your homes paid for, but you got to think about the maintenance on your home, the insurance, and then all the utilities to keep everything running. So I just wanted to um, do this little video on social security insecurity, <laughs> social insecurity, and um, and talk about, you know, you got to think about, are you going to be able to heat your home? And if you live down in the southern states, down in Florida, are you going to be able to pay for the electricity to run the air conditioner? <laughs> so it's always something, ain't it, y'all? Uh, and you got to remember that I doubt our laws are going to change anytime soon. So you got to remember that you're going to have to pay for all your dental care, your cleaning and your fillings and all of that and and your eye doctor appointments and I think Medicare does pay for your eye exam um, if you have diabetes. They will pay for you to go see the eye doctor once a year. I might be wrong, but I do know that they do not pay for eyeglasses. And, you know, us older people, we get to hard of hearing when we get old. And our Medicare does not pay for hearing aids. And, I mean, you can buy a, a supplemental policy, but you're going to be, um, you know, paying a lot of money for that. So, um, I just want to welcome all of you uh, who keep on coming back and all of my new subscribers. And please hit the thumbs up and watch my ads. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.